Do you think there would have been this outrage had the president fired James Comey back in January when he decided to keep him on the job? No, I don't. I think I think that would have been understandable and appropriate as a new president wants to bring in his own team. And but at the time, if you remember, he was praising uh, Mr. Comey for his work on, mm -hmm. on the investigation. So that's what that's what makes all this troubling, and smack of you know real politicization and and. Uh, Time will tell on that, but I do have faith that the FBI will continue to do its. What could Jeff Sessions or President Trump do now to instill some credibility both in the department itself and to the degree that this investigation is ongoing? Yeah, I'm not a political expert, but it would seem to me that who he chooses is going to be a big deal because he is, in fact, going to be looking to an FBI director who's going to be overseeing an investigation of people related to his campaign. So, therefore, the more credibility and professionalism that that person offers uh, allows the political process to sort of settle down and, and move forward. If that person looks to be subservient or someone who is, can be kowtowed by the White House, then that's going to create a, a different set of problems for the president. John, where, where was the IG investigation? Do we know anything about that? Who, who's responsible for it? How far along they had gone? I, I the, don't the one know. at Dacomi, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, there's been reports on that, and, and these things are, you know, done in a very professional manner, and they, and they take time to pull everything together. I don't know exactly where it was, but it wasn't done yet. And I would assume in a space of a few months, but I don't know. Is this the kind of thing where you imagine we will career, career people uh, in the FBI, if they don't feel uh, that things are being handled properly. We talk about leaks, and, and, and the president's complained about leaks. Well, people on all sides have complained about leaks. But is this the kind of thing where you think you would hear more of that if that's the case? Absolutely. I mean, if you, people talk a lot about the Saturday Night Massacre and the Nixon time, and I'm old enough to remember, remember that. Um, and, and this is where uh, Deep Throat came from for Bob Woodward and the leaks from the FBI. Um, I don't think most professional, you know, Investigators are going to be leaking and doing things like that. I think they will continue to do their work, but but that's a, a, a threat that would happen if it looks like there's political pressure on career investigators. Hey there! Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.